Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to talk about compressor and it's going to be a really quick tip and we're just going to show you how to add links to your movie for your viewers to click on and I'll demonstrate that at the end of the movie and how that works. But first let me show you how we do this. Let me bring in a file here, any old file, for us to use. Now I'm not going to encode this whole movie. I'm only going to encode some of it. So I'm going to go over here and hit my play key and let it play for about three seconds. And then I'm going to hit my O key to set an out point. And compressor will only encode what's between my in and out points. And of course, you set your in and out points by hitting the I key for your in, O key for your out. So let me play this for a few seconds. I'm going to say about five seconds I'll play my it. My car, gents. Okay, now I'm going to hit the O key. And boom, that sets an out point right there. Now the compressor is just going to encode this much of my video. So now what if I want to add a link right here that while my viewers are watching within quick time they can click on and go to a web page. Okay, well that's simple. I'm going to park my playhead where I want my marker to be. I'm going to put it at about three seconds. And I'm going to hit the M key. And as you can see that sets a little blue marker right there. Okay, now this marker isn't a podcast marker and in order to set links that people can click on it has to be a podcast marker. So in order to make it a podcast marker we park our playhead right over our marker. We'll go to this little symbol here, this little button, and we're going to click Edit. Or, with your playhead parked over your marker, you can hit Command E. And this will bring up our little marker box. And right now, it's a compression marker, which is a good thing to add during fast movement. If there's a lot of movement, somebody's running across the screen, or the camera's moving a lot, it's good to set a compression marker where there's a lot of fast movement. Now, don't, because that will force an iframe. Now, don't overdo it with compression markers, but if you're, there's a spot in your video that's got a lot of movement, adding one or two compression markers can't hurt. So we're going to change it from compression marker, and you can, as you can see, you can add it to a chapter marker if you're burning a DVD, if you want to create chapters in your DVD. And you can also add an edit marker or a cut marker, but we're going to add a podcast marker. Okay, now it's going to ask for the name, and I'm just going to say, we're going to add a link to YouTube. So I'll type in YouTube. That'll be the name. Now we're going to add a URL, and it's going to be YouTube.com, just for an example. Okay, now you can also add an image. We're going to leave mine at none. I'm going to say, okay. Now we've got that set up. Let's go ahead and bring in a setting. So what we're going to do is, we're just going to go ahead, and since we have our little five-second clip, laid out here with our podcast marker which is red as you'll notice compression markers are blue let's go ahead and hit submit now I'm gonna let this encode it shouldn't take but a second because it's just a five second clip oh well it don't look like I'm gonna have to cut the video out after all okay so she's done encoding that fast okay so now we need to check out our work and see what we've done so let's go pull up our movie here and I'm going to open this okay with quick time let me hit play and at three seconds boom there you see we have our link now if I click this link it's going to fire up Safari and boom it pulls up the link that we had attached to it inside of compressor so there you go. If you have a quick little link that you're wanting your viewers to view and you're saying, okay, here's a website, you can get this at this price, boom, you can throw the link in there and people can click on it and go straight to your website. It's just a nifty little, little tip that everybody should know when they're using compressor. Stay tuned for our next compressor video because I'm going to show you how to burn and set up a DVD slash Blu-ray right from within compressor. Thanks for watching, guys.